what's up guys so here i have the latest Modisyn m1 and their operating system is called Modisyn os which is very different from stock android ios or any other chinese phones so today i want to give you a quick software tour of this unique piece of work and i hope you enjoy it okay so i'm going to start off talking about the user interface uh, so you only have nine icons on each page but you can also set it to 16 grid that is four times four uh, so let me show you the notification panel and a quick setting panel. So as you can see, every icon is uh, redesigned and it just blends well together. And their icon covers hundreds of apps, uh, but mainly domestic ones as in Chinese apps. But here I also have the uh, WhatsApp and Twitter. And just in case you don't like the, the icons they provide, you can go to settings And here you can switch by, uh, switch switch back to the default ones, and uh, you can do it one by one without using a third party launcher or anything. So you can have a full control of what is going on here. And another thing is you can adapt the color of the status bar, uh, which is an export feature. And uh, but here on Smartisan OS, you can just do it in the settings. Uh, for example, uh, I'm just going to go to a random app and see here the status bar is black and now I go to settings, advanced, here also you can do it uh, app by app, one by one, And now the color has changed. It's the status bar is now red. Okay. And I also want to mention the customizable buttons. And there are two sets of rocker buttons. And depends on whether you're right-handed or left-handed, uh, you can set the right side to, sorry, this is right, the right side to uh, adjust the brightness, and the the left side to adjust the volume, or the other way around. Or you can also use it to uh, to lock your phone as well or you can press the upper ones at the same time to snap a screenshot for example or turn the flashlight or open camera or just open any app you want there are not that many gestures on this phone but we have some useful ones so first one is you can swipe on the dock area to have an overview of all your apps or you can pinch in and out to do the same so on this page, you can have up to 81 apps on just one page. There's also the one hand mode. So this is 5.1 inch display. You also have the 5.7 inch on smartest M1L. And sometimes it's hard for me to reach the top area, to these top corners. So what you can do is you can swipe down with your thumb and to reach these apps. And you also have this interesting background uh, showing you what's inside. And now is how far the attention to detail goes. If you find this image too scary, if you think, oh, the screen is coming off, you can also change it in the settings. And now it just pure black and it uh, goes up automatically. Okay, so last one. Uh, here you can see the numbers on the right top of the apps. And uh, of course, you can just turn it off in the settings. But sometimes you do find it useful, even though the rest of the time you find it annoying. Let's say if you have junk mails, you know, you have 100 on the, on the email icon. So what you can do here is you can slightly swipe up with your hand, with your whole hand. Uh, let me show you. And it just goes away. The next thing I want to share with you is called Big Bang. So this is something I've never seen on other phones. And it makes copy-paste a lot easier. Uh, so let me show you how it works. I'm just going to go ahead and open a random app. And this is a Chinese news app, so everything's in Chinese, but it works with English as well. So if I want to copy the whole article or I just want to copy the paragraph to my friend, I can just press down with my thumb 
and all the words just popped out. Uh, so I can select words I want or the whole sentence or just the whole hold, hold on or the whole paragraph. And after selected, I can do search. I can just search in, in the search engine or I can share. I can send it on WhatsApp or uh, Twitter or I can just put it on clipboard. And here you can switch different search engines. Uh, I don't have Google at this point, but so I'm going to use Bing or any other search engine you want. You can add your own search engine on the settings. And this applies everywhere on your phone. It doesn't matter what kind of app you're using, you can use this feature and it's super convenient. Okay, so the last thing I want to show you is called One Step. And uh, you can just click, tap on this icon to activate. And they have two bars just staying there. And let's go through it one by one. So on top, this is the recent pictures. Uh, and not just the pictures you took, also the pictures you received from your friend or you downloaded, it's all gonna be here. And here are the files, recent files. I don't have any. And here you have the clipboard. And it goes way back. Here you can say, or you can see this is from almost a month ago. Well, like several weeks ago. And it's still there. And of course, if you're a private person, you don't want people to see all the information, all everything copied, you can just click on the uh, bloom to, uh, to clear the history. And on the right side, you have all the you know you have all the apps or you have all the shortcuts and let me show you how this uh, how this works so if you want to send a picture to your friend or you want to email it you can just drag it hold on and drop so here you can what you can do with this picture is you can tweet it you can send it on whatsapp you can send it on weibo uh, or on email or to as a text message. So same goes all the files. I don't have any, but also with uh, things you copy, these are text you copy. You can just text it. Hold on. To someone. Or if you're using the calculator, you know you uh, have a result you want to share with someone, you can just drag it and then drop it on message, then you can just send it as a message. And of course you can do all this uh, on any other phones, but it really uh, saves a lot of trouble. You don't have to go through, you don't have to turn it on and copy and off and turn, uh, go to the uh, text message. You don't have to go through all that. It really make my life a lot easier at the time I was using it. And really glad to see a Chinese company putting all the effort on software experience uh, instead of all those fancy specs uh, and you know the design, everyone can do that. So anyway, I hope you like this video and I see you next time.